Okay, more pass blockades being recorded now. But then again, you already knew that because you're watching the video after it's been recorded and then subsequently published. <laughs> anyway, we still haven't actually fully completed that Ranger Guild Hall specifications. They want their Ranger Guild Hall to be very nice. And you can't blame them, can you? They want a nice place to talk about being rangers and whatever else. Oh, also, I've decided something. You see, the way that we've got the meeting room set up now is from here, right? But, if you look, that's just a meeting hall. I want this meeting area to be a dining so I'm going to have to redefine it from a random table. Yes. And now we can set this random table as a meeting hall. And yeah, that way when they eat there, they'll have eaten in a dining room. Which I believe will make them more happy. Which will be good. Because who doesn't like their dwarves being happy? don't know who would not like their dwarves being happy, that would be a very strange thing to be like. Anyway, uh, what are we going to do here? Let's put one more table and chairs in here. A diorite throne and a, uh, the fanciest diorite table we have. We'll put the other two in, uh, in the dining room, because dining I mean, what are you going to dine on if not a table and a chair? That is a good question. It doesn't have an answer. Yes, it doesn't have an answer at all. Anyway, I forgot to turn on my timer, you know? And we're out of uh, chairs. Anyway, cabinets. We still need to place more cabinets. Because, eventually, eventually this is going to be properly finished. But it can only be called properly finished after all the cabinets and the beds and doors have been put in. We've got all the beds in, I think. We haven't got all the doors in, and we haven't got all the cabinets in. Therefore, this is not a finished product. And I want this product to be finished. You know what I mean? Anyway, if this doesn't do it, we're going to have to take... Nope, that doesn't do it. Okay, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to smooth the floor, like uh, this patch of the floor. And then we're going to engrave that patch of the floor. And that will increase the value. But what should we do engravings of? We could just make, let the artist decide, but that's for idiots. No, we're not doing that. Well, I mean, it's not for idiots, it would be rather interesting, but no, we're not doing that. We're going to make them engrave things that are meaningful on this floor. Let's see. Aban there, for example, appears to be a legendary. Which is a nice thing, and I would say deserves its reward, and I would say deserves a reward. So we're going to have them engraved there, and we're going to be very specific. We're going to have them engrave it of Abba. Um, damn it, we have to get their surname. Abba, what's your surname? Bomrekish. Bomrekish, which is whipped bars. So yeah, we're going to get them to engrave whip bars there onto this uh, stone bit. Yes, engrave. Okay, engrave details, historical figure, about whip bars. Yes, and we're going to make them do that again here at the end of our band. We're not going to have it all be a Batman, of course. That would be ridiculous. So yes, two of Batman. Oh, and even Batman's going to... <laughs> Batman's engraving the... Uh, 
interrupted by a weasel? A weasel? Oh, they're outside, that doesn't matter then. Yeah, be, be scared of the weasel. On your own time, please. We're doing engravings of a dwarf. A band there seems to be taking an especially long amount of time on their own engraving. Which makes quite a lot of sense, actually, when you think about it, don't it? Of course, Aban would spend a lot of time on their own engraving. It is literally of themselves. Now, let's see. Aban whip bars. And did the dwarf falter? A white sh and a codex. This is... Oh! Aban! You were a scholar? Yes, Aban was a scholar, apparently. And that appears to be the most notable thing Aban ever did. You know what? Aban brings up a good point there. Maybe, just maybe, we should also ask Ryder Shot and, uh, yeah, well, first of all, we're gonna get Ast Ryder Shot. We're going to engrave some of this as Ast Ryder Shot. Engrave stone, details, historical figures. Yes, and then. Grave details. You have to do this individually for every fucking square, by the way. If you won't, if you just say detail, you have to specify every bloody one. You really do. It's a bit annoying, I know, but it's true. It is indeed true. At least as far as I know, that's true. Anyway, asked, and this is Moral Zane Guild. Okay. Going to engrave some of Zane Guild there. Yes. Details. Zane. Oh, oh there they are. Moral Relic Curls. Yes, Zane Guild. It's funny because that actually looked like the word Zane Guild, and I won't lie, I did get slightly confused there for a second. Anyway, because their name is actually Relic Karoo. Relic Ruled. Yes. Okay, get those two engraved, and then we'll have to. Grave some more rangers. Actually, how's the value? Is it even going up? I sincerely hope it is. Or does it not go up when in on engraved? Hmm. This requires an investigation. I'm going to engrave another thing. And you know what? This time we're going to just uh, make this one of. Of the decent ranks, which is, uh, you know, the symbol of the bust of depths, which is our sieve. Yes, it's going to be literally the flag, essentially. And this one is going to be of our image, which is uh, six sided, six sided prison. Yes. So, yes, those two bits are going to be. I mean, this guild is a local guild. Now let's see, before 1551, and after they've engraved those, fuck, right then, so no, I was trying to be clever, nope, we are not being clever here anymore, we're going to just make some statues, and you know what, because we've started, fine, you can engrave the rest of it, but you know what, I don't care what you do on these last two squares. We tried to do something nice, and we failed. Okay, next time we look at what they engrave on those two spaces I told them to just do anything on, and uh, yeah, that's what happens next time. <laughs>